Hello everyone, my name is Aaron Porter with Ascend Engineering and today I'm going to be showing you how to start a mission using PyMathLink. So let's get started. So what we have here is we have the Visual Studio Code open to the Python script that I'm going to use to demonstrate PyMathLink and my web browser open to show Mavlink messaging and how the Mavlink messages are formatted. So, first thing we're going to start over here in the code is the main section. First thing we need to do is connect to our drone. And so since I'm going to be using gazebo simulations, that's just localhost 14540. Then we check for our heartbeat from the drone. After the heartbeat, we can then start uploading our missions, well, or start creating our missions. So first thing we do is we create an array, then we add missions to that array. So what I did was I created a class called mission item that I just append to the array. So I have three, zero, one, two, and these are longitude and latitude, as well as the altitude I want the drone to sit at. Zero indicates the current mission item that is being used. So I'm gonna go over that further up, but I just wanted to like kinda briefly touch on this. So it's above the takeoff point, above destination point, and destination point. So let's go look at mission item. In the mission item class, first thing that we get is the sequence number, which is zero, one, or two. The, the next up we set the frame, like how we do here. And the frame that we're using is global relative altitude, and that allows us to basically use longitude and latitude to tell our drone where to be in relation to the earth. The next of command, the command basically tells it that what I'm sending you, the drone is supposed to go to this waypoint. What's the current mission item that we're on? Auto is auto continue, lets the drone know whether or not it's once this task, once this mission item is complete, what to do. Does it go on to the next mission item or does it stay at the exact same location? One means just go to the next waypoint. The next up, the rest are params. I'm gonna get, that's based on its math command. I'm gonna get back to that in a few, but first let's talk about the mission type. So what I have here is mission type set to zero and a mission type set to zero is a, as we see here on the webpage, MAV mission type mission. It just means that it's a part of the main mission. So when we go back, now I can click on MAV command and we see that MAV command nav waypoint. Parameter one is hold time. So I set that to zero seconds. Acceptance radiance, acceptance radius how close the drone gets to the waypoint before it counts it as reached. And we set that to two meters. Pass radius, the trajectory that the drone's gonna take passing the waypoint. Usually this is like meant for fixed wings. So we just say 20 meters. Uh, it's parameter four is the yaw and that's basically like the rotation of the, well, the orientation, the angle that the drone will be at, at this waypoint. And so I set it to not number because we don't really care where it's facing. We really, we want it to face to the next waypoint. So a way to fix that is just by giving it not a number. Pram five is latitude, pram six, longitude, Param seven is the altitude. So we will go back down to our main code. And in our main code, we see that once we finish creating all of our mission items and setting our, and adding them to our array, we can then next up go and pass our array to the upload mission. So for upload mission, we follow the mission protocol defined by Mavlink. For uploading a mission to a vehicle, it follows this protocol where we send mission count. So mission count is sent here. 
And how do we know the format for mission count? It's in the MAV messages, mission count, and target system, target component, count, and also the mission type. As we know, zero just means that it's a main mission. The next up, N comes from the number of elements in the array. And once that's done, we wait for a mission request. Mission request here. Then we start sending off mission items. So we iterate through the array and send each mission item according to the format set here. So target system, target component, sequence, frame, and this pretty much everything from waypoint I get from my class. So nothing new here. Uh, after each way, after each mission item, I just check to make sure that it's not the last mission item in the array. And we wait for another mission request. So we just kind of iterate through and wait for mission acknowledge at the very end. Um, oh, so briefly to cover the acknowledgement stake, the ACK function is just an acknowledgement from the drone. So whenever I receive an acknowledgement message that I'm looking for, so the keyword that I'm looking for is mission acknowledge and it's blocking. So I, this code does not run until I receive that mission acknowledge or mission request or whatever other keyword statements I decide to use for my program. So once the mission is uploaded, I go to arm the drone and arming the drone requires a command long message to be sent. There's a lot of like documentation on how to arm take off the drone using command long. So I'm not going to go into like the map command and everything, but the command that we use is component arm disarm. And we can see that we use the same format that they show here. So target system, target component, the command, the next up is confirmation and the parameters set are based on the math command. After that, we go into takeoff and takeoff is another command long, same format, different command, nav takeoff and the parameters vary based off like the takeoff command. After that, we go into start mission. Start mission uses command long as well. Target system component, mission start and the parameters. So once we finish, now our mission is started. Once we start, once we finish the function start mission, the next step, our mission is started. So now we basically do the same thing like we do in the acknowledgement function where we just wait for mission item reached. We blocked so this way we don't continue the program without reaching each mission waypoint. Then we do set return and set return is once again a command long and the command that we use is nav return to launch. So that covers the program that we're using. So let's see it in action. So I'm going to open up Q ground control and I'm also going to open up gazebo. I changed the, the home latitude and longitude for my drone. As you can see up here, export PX4 home latitude equal and you can set that to whatever you want to. Home longitude equal, set that to whatever longitude you want to. You can get those coordinates off of Google map. But let's go ahead and make our PX4 simulation in gazebo. And now we have our gazebo simulation open. Let me put that over here. And open back up my terminal. And now only thing I have to do is run the code. And we should see all of the messages that were printed out. So starting heartbeat, checking the heartbeat, 
We see the drone armed. So message sent out, mission request. This is it uploading. We created a waypoint, created a waypoint, created a waypoint, mission acknowledged, arm the drone, take off. We see it's taking off and start mission. We can see from QGC that it's in mission mode now. So that's great. Uh, first mission item reached, which was right above the drone at 10 meters. And now we're just waiting for the drone to finish off its mission. Sometimes you will get the error up here that the takeoff altitude is a little bit low. I'm not 100% sure why that appeared. So we've reached the second waypoint. Right now we're lowering, as you can see from here. We reached the third waypoint. Now we're returning to our launch point. And we can see the command acknowledged for return to launch was received now. And that pretty much wraps up everything. Now we're just waiting for a drone to get back. So what we learned is how to run PyMavlink using Python to control a drone, starting missions, setting the waypoints for those missions, uploading those missions to the drone, and the next up, having the drone start the mission, run the mission, and return back to its original spot. And that's everything. Thank you for watching.